Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of CSS effects that will take your WordPress website to the next level. And the best part, we'll be using the user-friendly WP Bakery page builder to make the magic happen. You can find examples and code snippets for CSS effects in a bunch of places, of which the first one obviously is Google. You can look through the popular resource called Pen, but in this video, I'll be mostly working with the trusty ChatGPT. The best part about adding custom code with WP Bakery is that you can easily add CSS to your layouts and see the changes without leaving the page. Before we even jump into the extra effect and custom code, there are actually a bunch of effects available by default in WP Bakery. If you open the edit window for an element like a button or a text block, for example, you'll see the CSS animation section. As you can see, there's quite a bit to choose from. To see how the animation will look, you can click on the one that you want and the button on the right will show you what will happen. You can click save to see the animation happen on the actual page. All right, let's start with a simple but very useful and effective effect, the glow effect, which we can also make into a shadow. You can apply it to any text in your layout to make it stand out. For this effect, I just asked ChatGPT to write me a CSS code snippet that will apply a glow effect to text. And this is what it gave me. This is the text I want to apply the effect to. So what we'll have to do is open the edit window, scroll down, and give this element an extra class name, which we'll use as the selector in our code snippet. ChatGPT is using glowing text, so we can use the same one, but it can be anything. Click save and let's copy the code and go back to the front end editor. Now click on the gear icon on the top right and here you'll see the custom CSS section. Paste the code, click save and the effect is applied. What we can do now is adjust the code a little so it would fit the layout better. We can change the color to white. So I'll just Google the RGBA code for white and copy and paste. You could also change the blur radius to make it more or less subtle. To make this glow effect into a shadow, we just have to change the color to black. To add the same effect to a block of content instead of a specific element, we can add the effect to a column, like this section, for example. So again, we can open the edit window, but for this column and give it an extra class name like feature block, for example. If you give the same extra class name to each of these columns, the effect will be added to all columns. Now let's ask ChatGPT to generate a code snippet for a shadow effect. Copy the code and paste it in the page settings. Now we have to change the selector to the extra class name we gave to the column. And here's the shadow. Same as before, you can adjust the color and the position to the effect. Now, let's say you want to add an effect and highlight only a part of the text, not the whole sentence. I'll show you how to do exactly that. You'll first have to add a text block element and add the text you want. I'll just edit the one I have here. Now we open the edit window and here in the tiny MCE editor, choose the text editor instead of the visual editor. To add an effect to specific words instead of the whole element, we have to add a class name to those words and we can do it right here. If you already know how to do it, great, you go right ahead. But as always, you can also ask ChatGPT to add a class name to these words. Choose the class name. Copy the exact words you want to highlight. Paste the whole paragraph in ChatGPT. And now replace the code that ChatGPT generated with the one in TinyMCE. To apply the same glow effect from before, just copy paste the same code snippet and replace the selector. The 
white color isn't really visible on the white background, so let's make it blue. And now just those words have the glow effect. Now that we've got the mechanics of adding effects down, let's just add a couple of nice looking effects to spice this layout up. I found this one on CodePen and it could add a nice interactive element to your layout. To apply it, find the text you want to apply it to and add an extra class name. Now copy the code from CodePen and paste it into the custom CSS section. Now replace the selectors and here's the effect. It's in the default yellow now, but you can change the color to fit the layout better too. I'm using a color converter to convert from hex, which is used on the side to HSL and just adding that to the code. And now it's the same blue as every blue in the layout. Our last effect is another interactive hover effect, but for images. This one I found from Google. It looks like this, a simple hover zoom. So you already know how to apply it. Extra class name to the image. I'll just take the same one as in the example. And copy paste the code in the page settings. And we are done. It's that easy. There you have it. These were some cool effects and now you've unlocked the power of endless customization for your sites. Simply apply these principles, get inspired by CodePen, ask questions to ChatGPT, and you will find the right CSS effects for your layouts. You can get WP Bakery at wpbakery.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.